so so transport so all the little locomotives were working really really hard to get to get their trains going and a lot of them they had to go from train to train to train to train and they had to just keep doing it over and over and over again now the only problem with this is trains stopped in sidings a lot of trains even high priority ones like the highest of the highest priority freight trains maybe like this intermodal that's going around right now they get held in sidings by by passenger trains that overtake them and that is what the little locomotives did not like they did not like that because they had to wait and they even thought that their fleet was now worth nothing due to the new Metro North expansion that went that went up here. Even a heritage unit, one of like the most highest priority units that always gets the right of way, it doesn't. And he was just waiting and he was even switched onto this track so he wouldn't be on the same track as as Metro North. The only good thing about that though is that the Metro North train, aka Lilium, only runs once a day. So that's sick. So that pretty much saved their lives and their priorities too. Now another problem is trains getting overtaken when they are really, really close to the yard by even other freight trains. The SD-70 Ace came around. His friend Jason and EMB SD-40-2 noticed his, noticed his friend going by. He was upset that he didn't get to drive the intermodal and he just had to drive a local train. That pretty much has no priority. Egg! Every time that an intermodal is coming by, this happens i'm always driving locals i do not like it when when 225 just keeps on coming and then just overtakes me and i'm only just a few miles away from the yard why would he just overtake me like this but soon enough this the the junction was switched so that so that jason the sd40-2 could could start his run to the yard Finally, I can move! Then Jason took his train to the yard. His train was loaded with, fer with, fer with empty fertilizer cars and empty flat cars along with some Pennsylvania box cars and tankers. Tankers are filled. Now the intermodal was at the airport loop to drop off its cargo. James, the SD-40-2 there, was disappointed that he had to overtake him. Seriously? You had to overtake me? I mean, come on! You know better than that, intermodal. Ethan was coming up on a dead end, so he had to stop as quick as possible. As he slows his train down with the emergency brakes, he reels, and he is the IT heritage man, so that is going to be a problem. There, at least a flashing yellow, James said, as he, as he began to proceed through through the signal.
So James proceeded through the, uh, through the Springfield Incline Pass as as he pulled his tra as he pulled his train featuring just a few box cars from the industries. He's going to take it to the industries. I hope that I'm not getting overtaken by another intermodal or something, or may, or even a passenger train. I hope this is just because of track work. Plus, I'm less than a mile away from the yard. <sighs> Meanwhile, the Springfield yard wasn't as busy as it usually was. It's a little bit small, so it usually has like SD40-2 like this, and most of the intermodals are just locals. But there is 225, which comes once a week, and so yeah, it's pretty long. And all the little locomotives are used to being, when they get held back by an intermodal and they're not driving one, they're usually used to being overtaken by a small one. So they don't have to wait as long. But once a week, they get overtaken by 225, a train that that is from West, that, well, not West Virginia, yeah, West Virginia, Virginia to Chicago, and then from Chicago to Los Angeles. And yeah, it takes the train about a week to go to go all the way through. So yeah. That's why it comes once a week. But they're used to small trains. But the yard was not that busy. Meanwhile the Norfolk and Western excursion train, Mr. Muffin and Mr. I like trains kid were were driving at were cruising at fourteen miles an hour up up through the city. They got an approach signal at the next block. <sighs> Not again. So the excursion train ran up to him at quite a slow speed. Mr. Muffin and the I Like Trains kid passed past James. All the people in the Doors train were excited to, s to see that they're probably the fifth train because they saw all the trains in the yard when they, when they were departing. 
James waited and waited as the excursion train as the excursion train passed. Finally, it was over and the switch was switched. Finally, I can take off," said James. He quickly started moving as as his engineer pulled the throttle. The excursion train was 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 doing great. James train was doing was doing fine as he approached the yard. He pulled the emergency brake so that so that he could back up and place his cars there and place his cars uh, back there so that he could go in, into the turntable where he could rest and then another train could push it into the siding. Now as you can see his brakes backfired. My brakes backfired once again. James, don't be that mad about it. Wait, what? Who said that? That was just me. It was, it was, it was, Mr. it was Mr. Muffin. Wait, what, Mr. Muffin? Why are you back here? Nah, I'm just kidding. It, it's just Carly. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Well. This always happens. Whenever I drive this exact logo, my brakes backfire. Dude, you don't have to be that mad. Okay, dude. Just... Carly and Mitchell, just stop talking. I'm mad right now. Okay, then, fine. We'll stop talking with you. James began to move his train backwards as as his train started to reverse. Meanwhile, Jason was was in front of Carly, one of the helper engines. This is where they stage helper engines. So James, I was just a hover engine. I'm about to pull into the turntable as well. How've you been? Did you did your brakes backfire again? Did you get overtaken? Got overtaken twice, bro. It was I was not happy. I feel ya. I feel ya, man. So James decoupled from his train and got going. So then, so then he got, so then he got, so then he got decoupled and he started reversing as, as the signalman got the switch 
to the right to the right side so that so that he could proceed onto the turntable. But before that, there was one process that was needed. The turntable switching. As James approached the turntable with his bell on and everything, he was approaching at a little bit of a fast speed. You're supposed to be going 15. He's going a little bit faster. Now he was going the right speed. Then he slowed down on the turntable to get himself ready to turn. He needed to go all the way around. But then they mistaked it. He was supposed to go right, right there. Now he has switched onto the right track in the turntable and can reverse into, and can reverse into his shed. Slows down he slows down and stops, but he needs to reverse just a little bit more. Jason, James' best friend, is about to pull in the shed because they promised each other they were going to play Xbox and this time James could be player one. They are going to play Call of Duty. Next, Jason comes to the turntable. he backs into his spot right next to James hey uh James you ready to play Call of Duty said James said Jason Nah, no, not it. Um, I just, I just want to kind of express my feelings. I'm sad. I'm really sad that we just never get the right away. Well, if you want the right away, just drive an intermodal. Then you'll get the right of way all the way. Even if I'm driving an empty one? No, probably not. <laughs> So, would that be a good idea to drive a full intermodal with containers and everything in it? Oh yeah, that would be a great idea. You should do that next time. Okay, now can we play Call of Duty? Sure. Six minutes later. Listen, Hold on, dude. Listen, the CEO is giving giving us our assignments to drive. James, you have been driving a loaded intermodal. Awesome, that's what I wish for. And Jason, you'll be driving a mixed. Jason, you'll be driving a mixed freight. You'll be driving right behind Joseph and James. 
Yes, sir. Right away, sir. He was just so excited that he got to drive an intermodal, which was what he had been wishing for, because he would get the right of way all the way. But he wondered if it was true. Meanwhile, Emma and her train were, dr were driving were driving out to the industries as well. But then, she got switched onto the siding. What? How'd this happen? She was getting overtaken by James. Which was pretty crazy. A passenger getting overtaken by an intermote. She couldn't believe it. She was getting overtaken. Turns out, she kind of had an incident brakes so I guess she didn't want to be overtaken she'd rather die so and I got so really injured instead of got get overtaken but her passenger cars were running down the hill with no locomotive leading they were on a runaway Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed another Real Gamer production video. Thank you so much for watching. That was my parody of Rails of the Highland Valley. So I, I really like that series, so I want to do my own version. And so give credit to Cotton Belt SD40T for thinking of it. And we did a sub for sub before I even started that series. So. Please go subscribe to him. He has an awesome channel. He has Go Anime videos and he has his Highland Valley Rail series. And I hope he makes more. So, yeah. See you guys later.